What's going on guys, Aussie here, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the La Liga team of the season. It is finally out and I'm looking very, very interested to see what these cards can kind of deliver to this game. Now we have, we have got the 93 overall team of the season so far, Sayul, and he's obviously an SPC. We do the SPCs first, most likely it'll be then another player and then probably the objective players. But first, let's see what this guy's about. 84 pace, 94 dribbling, 87 shooting, 88 physical, 87 defending and 93 passing. Absolutely ridiculous. The one thing I love to upgrade there is probably his pace. He is six foot, which means he's got that big interception reach into the midfield. And it looks like we're just looking at the base card stats. This guy can play cam, center mid, and CDM. Now he has got high high work rates. I don't really like high high work rates into the CDM position simply because they go too far up and then sometimes they go too far down. And they never really into the like the best position. So that is one thing I am going to be interested to see. He has got three star skill moves. I don't do skill moves in my midfield. I don't think it's going to matter. But a four star weak foot will actually allow me to cut onto the right foot and pass with it and actually shoot with it. Now he is on an engine chem style. He is on 10 chem. 90 acceleration, 89 sprint speed. This guy is insanely fast for a midfielder. And most likely he will be from point A to point B in literally a split second. Now, shooting wise, we don't get a lot of occasions to shoot as like a centre mid or CDM. So if I don't get any occasions, I will actually put him up front just to test his shooting stats. He has got 91 attacking positioning, 87 finishing, 91 shot power, 90 long shots, 84 volleys and 61 penalties. He has got a finish shot trait, which was actually a quite a surprise for me. No uh, outside first shot trait or chip shot trait, but I don't believe it's going to matter because the finishing stats look unbelievable. 99 passing, 86 crossing, 80 free kick accuracy, 99 short passing, 99 long passing and 84 curve. Now, it's clear of day this guy will be able to, you know, just ping the ball from one side of the pitch completely to the other. Pretty much to do all like the RBAs, the first time passes, that should be pinpoint. Now, he's got 89 agility, 90 balance, 99 reaction, 99 ball control, 99 dribbling and 96 composure. The 199s that I just said in dribbling stats is out of this world, especially for a six foot player. Usually nowadays, six foot players aren't the most agile and they're more of a more of a kind of person that will go in with a tackle then you know just pass it away but it does look like Sayul will be able to dribble on the ball keep the ball very close to his feet and be very calm and composed on it now he has got 88 interceptions 92 heading accuracy 85 defensive awareness 87 standing tackle and 85 sliding tackle if you are playing this guy as a cdm i do advise putting a shadow chem style on him just to improve the pace a bit more and the defensive stats but you can also put an anger chem style to obviously boost her aggression now defensive stats look absolutely ridiculous interceptions defensive awareness all of that is going to come into play and he's probably going to put in a very solid tackle with that stand 87 standing tackling 88 jumping six foot i would say six foot one and below i wouldn't go to the extent of six foot two though 98 stamina is always always going to be nice to see just up and down the pitch shouldn't be a problem 86 strength for me that's why you kind of have to put the anchor chem style on him to boost the strength and aggression by a lot simply because 86 aggression is going to be like bullying the meta players aka for like neymar messi and all of those like kind of thin body types but when it comes down to people like i don't know harlan Lewandowski, sayul is going to have a problem a problem with those now he's got 77 aggression which means you know he's not going to be probably the kind of guy to be very very aggressive aka push out position then go in for like a sliding tackle or standing tackle but it looks like he is going to be winning the majority of the 50 50s now today i have linked him up with uh, S uh sorry uh sensio and mendy i couldn't get his name out there i've also liked to end dd robert Firmino, adama and suzoko in the team i will be using sale in a 4-4-2 playing him in the center mid role because i want that defensive presence but i also want that attacking presence but i will be actually trying him in the cdm position as well and as i said earlier if we don't get any shooting opportunities i'll put him up front try to do my little twist and turns and see if he rocket sit into the back of the net but let's get straight into these games so the first thing we usually do is just check how agile someone is on the ball. Sayul does look very, very nice on the ball, to be fair. But he doesn't feel like, you know, one of those Neymar or Messi kind of standard players. Nice, really good tackle. That was really good pressure from him, from him as well. I actually ball rolled into the player there. I held LT at the same time, though. And somehow, he actually did shield him off fairly easily. And that is really, really impressive because I honestly thought I was going to lose the ball there. Sayul. With the little export all the way over to the player. It's a beautiful pass. It honestly is. And it's kind of expected with 99 long passing. Am I going to do this first time? Look at that. First time completely onto the other side of the pitch. It's beautiful how you can have a midfielder that can actually do those passes. One thing I am seeing from Sayul though. He is playing in the 4-4-2. He is playing in the centre mid position. 
But look at his positioning off ball. He's sitting like perfectly in like in line with Sissoko, even though he has high, high work rates. Oh, I'm going to do the drag back here. What a touch. Oh, come on. That finish needed to go into the back of the net. One thing I'm really impressed about there. I did not expect him to get the ball at all. But I didn't actually mean that little extra touch he did. And for me personally, I believe I was actually going to get tackled there. My opponent did really, really well to read that drag back. And the fact that he did that extra touch shows how good his dribbling is and shows how good his awareness is. Pass a sale. Little fake shot in between the gap. It should be a goal. I cannot believe he has saved that. That has blown my mind a little bit. The fact that I've done perfect here. Sale in beautiful positioning. Literally standing right in, right in front of the centre-backs is perfect there from him there. And the fact that I could do that little fake shot in between those two players was insane. But I have no idea how he has not put that into the back of the net. Can we do this LBY all the way across? Once again, 99 long passing coming into play. It's going to be so, so overpowered. And if you actually do get this card, trust me, use the 99 long passing to its full effect. Oh, that's beautiful turns. Going to fake it again. There you go. Absolutely sending him. Oh my God. No, I should have took a bit more patience there and probably finessed that with his four star weak foot. But what a dribble it was. Make sure there's no turn there. There you go. I always, always knew he wanted to go on Jamie's right, uh, Jamie Vardy's right foot. I understand Jamie Vardy has got a, a four-star weak foot, but it's one of those ones where it's always going to feel more comfortable onto his stronger foot. So all I have to do there pretty much is just go with Sayul. I know he's got the pace to get there as well and just go in with a very, very strong tackle. One thing I was definitely wrong about is pressing with sale i thought sale was not going to be one of those people that you can press with but you really can and you can tell by just looking at that that was very very bad for me i shouldn't have really dribbled into the guy but he actually took jamie vardy out then went in for a standing tackle now did he mean to take out vardy obviously not but it's always nice to see that he can do stuff like that he honestly feels really good really good on the ball like i understand he doesn't feel like probably you know messi or name or someone like that in the midfield which if he did feel like that in the midfield it will be absolutely insane but he does feel good on the ball and he is definitely one of those players that you can obviously press with nice oh just gonna get it that's unfortunate now i don't know if that's because of he hasn't got really uh, he's got good uh, slide tackling but he hasn't got insanely high sliding tackle but i don't believe that is because i believe that's just a bit unlucky to him to actually get the ball back after so you'll get there there you go i didn't i like i selected him and actually pushed him into the position where he actually looked like he was already making that run and the fact that he's making that run already showing that how good his defensive awareness really is and showing that he was actually going to go cut the passing lane and once again going for the interception now for me personally i don't believe a person that is like five foot eight maybe five foot nine can intercept that ball i believe people that are only like six foot six foot one six foot two or higher can actually just intercept that ball because they got that big reach nice really good piece of skill there little ball roll gonna try to flick it yeah this is what i mean about him he's not one of those players that you are gonna run with like you can run to an extent where you know a few meters maybe but you're definitely not going to continue to run while you're doing with like messi or even a dharma triore get the sale ah uh, that's that's always going to be annoying i feel like that's towards his aggression as well he doesn't really want the ball more than my opponent did there or the player that actually had it really good standing tackle from him there but i believe if he actually had more aggression there he would have got the ball first time it's going to be a oh come on i need a stronger tackle than that i actually thought he was going to get the lane there once again there you go he eventually got there though get there there you go really good interception i didn't actually believe he was going to get there but somehow he did nice i kind of predicted that now because he has done that plenty of times so you kind of have to think to yourself if he's done it plenty of times you're just going to go over there with sayul and he's just going to intercept it really good positioning from him here little fake shot little ball roll. can i do a twist and turns drag back fake shot once again drag back do the same thing there you go can i get a cross goal finish yes i can now, it was actually good defending for my opponent, but I was doing these twists and turns. And when you do these twists and turns, you have to be very precise. And it's more of a 50-50 chance on where I'm going to go. I'd rather go left or I'd rather go right. And what a finish it was from Sale. A cross goal into the back of the net. Nice. Oh, no way. I was about to say, I kind of baited that into into him passing towards Jamie Vardy there and Sayul did actually really really well to get the tackle off but I just couldn't get you know the kind of final product where he keeps it nice and close to his feet so I can actually 100% get the ball 
Go on, I see you. About to fight for it. Fight for it. I understand it is Carlos Alberto and I do understand Asensio, but it was a really good ball buck from Sale either way. So it is time to review him and let me say I was really, really impressed about this card because he can do a lot of things I didn't actually expect him to do. Now, six foot, really nice. He's got that interception reach to really reach out for the ball. And that's always going to be lovely to see, especially in the centre mid slash CDM role. Now, the high, high work rate, I did actually play him centre mid slash CDM. I believe it was throughout the whole three games. And he didn't go up much. He honestly did not go up much. Now, that could be because of his attacking positioning or it could be because of defensive awareness not being, you know, top tier. But he didn't go up like uh, other high to high players that's uh, high to high in the centre mid position that I have actually reviewed. So he was a player that he stands there. He gives you a passing option and he's very, very calm and composed on it as well. When he receives the ball, he's always, always going to find an option. Now, the three-star skill moves, I don't do skill moves with my players. The best thing about him, I believe, was to actually the drag back, though. It was unbelievable. The four-star weak foot really coming into play, and you can pass with either foot, and that is one thing I did love. Also, the fact that he can shoot with both feet was really impressive. Now, he did actually miss a shot on that right foot, but there was one that I hit across goal, and I do believe it was on the right foot, and that it was like a really, really tight angle, and it just went straight into the back of the net. Now, pace-wise, he is insanely fast. And for me personally, I didn't believe he was going to be one of those players that you go out and press with. He's not an insane presser, but he can definitely do it. Now, shooting-wise, I think I took three shots and I scored one. Two of the chances were guaranteed goals. I don't know how he didn't finish it, but I believe it is the 87 finishing coming into play. The passing-wise, he's an insane passer. He can do every pass possible. We all saw that coming, though. Dribbling... I definitely do suggest not going a little dribble moves with this guy. Like, sorry, dribble, you know, little skill runs pretty much. Because he's not he's not insane on the ball. He's more of a calm, composed player. A person will take a very good touch and not really mess about too much. So be careful with that. Now, defensive, defending wise, defensive awareness was a bit of a letdown. He didn't track, he didn't track uh, the person on the edge of the box, and that is something I did see. So that was always going to be a letdown. One thing I did like about his defensive awareness, though, it was good enough to read the passing lanes by himself. Standing tackling wasn't consistent, like consistently good, but it was there. I can understand. Sliding tackle once again, I did slide tackle once, and I think it was for an interception. But it was like a one of those ones where it bounces off the foot and you know goes straight back to the player. So I'm not going to judge too much on that. Stamina wise, he did last out the whole 90 minutes. Strength wise, he was really strong and he was bodying you know the meta players, aka Neymar. You got Messi, Daniel James. One person he was struggling with was definitely Adama Traore. Aggression wise, is the biggest letdown about this card. There was times. That if he was a bit more aggressive, he would have won the ball 100%. But because his aggression is very low, he doesn't win the majority of the 50-50s. And that, for me, is a big, big killer. Now, I have to give him a rating out of 10. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. I don't believe he deserves higher than that. But maybe pushing an 8.5 out of 10. But that's all I can give him. He's not insane. And do I advise you guys to go get this card? No. Leave it out for now. There will be bare SBCs. Keep that in mind. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like. Leave a comment, and for now, peace.